Welcome to Fun with Math with Teacher Delia. In this lesson, you're going to learn about greater than, less than, and equal. Hi guys, today we are learning about greater than, lesser than, and equals. Okay, I have a few items to show you. Um, I've got brown spirit vinegar, a bottle, and some jelly. So, I want you to figure out which one is greater than, which one is lesser than. Okay. The vinegar is greater than the box of jelly, or the box of jelly is lesser than the vinegar. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. I've got a straw and my pen. Okay. The straw is greater than the pen. The pen is lesser than the straw. Okay. I also have two markers, two black markers, and these look like they are the same, they're equals, okay? I also have two crayons, they are also the same, all right. And the last things I have, I've got a glue stick, and the pig, clothes pig. Okay, the clothes pig is lesser than the glue stick. The glue stick is greater than the pig. All right, so now we want to talk about these signs. What do these signs look like? And I'd like us to draw the signs. Okay, let's start with the greater than sign. The greater than sign looks like this. Okay, it's always facing the left. And I always like to think of it as a crocodile. So I'm going to put some sharp teeth on my side. There's our greater than sign. Then now I'm going to draw the lesser than sign. It looks like this. And it's always facing to the right. Going to draw my crocodile teeth. Okay, next is the equal sign. There it is. It looks like our ordinary equal sign when we're doing sums. Okay, I always like to think of our signs as crocodiles because they're always eating something, and most times our sign is always eating the bigger number or the bigger object. Okay, now let's practice with our signs. Um, I have my sharpener and these building blocks, okay? So which one is greater, which one is lesser? Okay, the bigger one is greater, the lesser one is the smaller one. So if we were to place them, okay, if we were to place them there, the blocks are greater than the sharpener. Can you see the crocodiles eating the blocks? And then if we want to place it here by the lesser than sign, would have to swap them around. Would have to put the sharpener on this side and then the blocks on this side because our crocodile is always eating the bigger object or the bigger number. Okay, so the sharpener is lesser than the building blocks. Do you now have a picture and do you now understand how to use these signs? Okay, now let's go on to some actual numbers. Okay. Let's have three, leave a space in the middle, and seven. Okay, what sign do we put there? Let's try to read out the sentence. Uh, three is dash than seven. Hmm. Is three greater than seven? No. Is three lesser than seven? Yes. So let's put that sign. Now we put the sign without the Crocodile teeth. Just leave it like that without the crocodile teeth. And make sure your sign is always eating or facing the bigger number. Okay, our next numbers are eight and four. Leave a space in the middle so you can put the sign. So eight is, is it greater than, is it less than, is it equals? Eight is greater than four. So let's put our sign. Um, 
there's our sign. Remember not to put the crocodile teeth, just draw it without the teeth. Okay, so that's correct. Let's put some more numbers. Let's have five and ten. I hope you're starting to understand, understand much better now how to use your greater than and less than and equal sign. Okay, so five and ten. Five is lesser than ten. Okay, so you put your lesser than sign. And can you see your sign is always facing the bigger number? Uh, let's have 11 and 7. I hope by now you figured it out and you're working it out faster, way faster than I am. Okay, so 11 is greater than 7. Put your sign. All right. And let's have 12. 12 and 12. What do we put there? These numbers are the same, aren't they? Equals. So let's put our equal sign. There we go. And then we have 20 and 20. These numbers are the same. So they're equals. You put your equal sign. And we're done. So our greater than sign is always facing the left. Our lesser than sign is always facing the right. And our equal sign just looks the same. And make sure whichever numbers you have or whichever objects you have, make sure that your sign is always facing the bigger object or the bigger number. Last one, the vinegar is greater than the jelly box. Or the jelly box is lesser than the vinegar bottle. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining Teacher Delia for Fun with Math. For more information about these lessons, please send us an email at info at learningfactory .co.zw. Give us a call on plus 263-8644-054252 or send us a message on WhatsApp on plus 263